Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's get started. I have thought a lot in the last 24 hours. Hello, how do you know? Time to get your weekly sports fix. By the skin of their teeth, they lost. You know, then you just ride in the whole thing. With sticks. Right, 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 right. On over there already? <laughs> yeah, we have to move the, move the whole setup inside because of the, the six feet of snow outside right now. Or the six centimeters that dumped down this morning. What's the general expectation around this time? For it to be snowing around those parts, for it not to be snowing, snow on the on, on the horizon, what's normally the deal around this time of year? You have to ask Barcott that. We don't get a lot of snow uh, last year. Well, it's fucking snow. cold, though. I'll tell you that. Oh, it is. It's cold cold shit over here. When schools were shut down, we didn't get a lot of snow. Right. I will say this, though. The three years prior to that, we had re- like we basically didn't go to school in January. I mean, it was it was it was every mm-hmm. day was a new snowstorm. I think this winter is going to be that way because it went from September eighty five degrees to Halloween twenty two. Yeah, we woke up with snow on the ground today, so it 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 looks like it's going to be another one of those where uh, it may not be COVID, but get ready to have your kids home for most of January. Yeah, I feel that. That's exactly it. I mean, over he over here, it is cold, and it, it went from literally that. I think I said that before. I went from using AC, thinking that I'm gonna have a good rock solid month, maybe a couple to just go window open, window close kind of situation. No, that was not the case. It went from AC to heat ASAP, like yeah. quick flip, and and it's daily usage. And yep. this ain't this ain't right. This is not right. <laughs> well, hopefully, you got to use that AC that you uh, put in the house. What this year? Didn't you? Didn't you just get that put in this year? Your yeah. AC home. Yeah. yeah. And we, that, it, 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 we got full use out of it. Yeah, we went real quick from that. Uh, so there's that law. I don't know if, how many people know that when it gets to certain temperatures in the summer and certain temperatures in the winter. They don't shut you off no matter how far behind behind you on your bill. So, like in July, if it's 110, okay. they All can't right. turn off your, your your electric because in Washington State, if people get you know die from heat exhaustion in the house, they get sued. Same with it being, I think it was 13 degrees last night. You, know, you, you can't be turning people's heat off no matter what their bill is. So this is the time of year where uh, Franklin PUD starts running out of money because people are like yeah come shut me off <laughs> <laughs> i'm telling you know what that just translated to me is it, holiday season coming up it's a whole lot of money flying in different places oh yeah don't pay your energy bill they ain't <laughs> tripping that's what that tells me <laughs> <laughs> you need. And actually, prioritize in washington, your state, in washington state it's all three it's water gas and because they they legally would be that. on on the hook for a lawsuit God forbid somebody died. That's right. You know they were behind on the bill, but you turn off the heat, the gas, or whatever, and you know somebody's grandma dies or somebody's infant dies. They were just dealing with this ain't in Houston or Texas somewhere a couple years back when they had that miraculous ice freeze over, right? Yep. They shut all that shit down, didn't they? 
That's right. They didn't. They had no. They didn't well, know they what to do in those situations. Yeah, they were just. And by the way, that was a big conversation in their midterm. Should they get off their privatized energy and get on the government subsidized stuff like you know the rest of modern <laughs> world? Hey, look, you got to know about stuff like this. And I don't know, Stick, you sometimes you seem like you just want to not know about shit. And I'm going to tell you this. As for somebody, I'm on here with somebody who is an educator, okay? I'm going to tell you <laughs> right me. now. I'm, I don't have a PhD or none of this, but I'm going to tell you right now. If you don't Google stuff, you're just straight lazy nowadays. <laughs> the information is out there. What's wrong with you? Why do you like saying, I don't know? Yeah, you know, it's stupid now. Everybody, not that you know, but it should be like, oh, I, I didn't know that, but I'm gonna look that up, and, and I'll make sure I know tomorrow. You know, you're so <laughs> I'll know tomorrow. In your fucking hand, you could look, you get the answer in ten seconds, straight up. Just and I, I don't know, man. I just, yeah, I mean, what do you do? Like it's like an open book test. You already have the answers to everything. What do y'all do with open book situations now? Or when you back in the day, when you already had, to, you could use your notes. Yep. That's what it is. So I don't know, and with anything, when people don't don't feel like they don't know anything, it's just because they just don't want to know about that. Know Whatever that, that is. You're just Some things are better stupid. left unsaid. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. You're just fine with being stupid. <laughs> I, I didn't matter. That, Play that, the dumb that card. Election stuff, man. That's I'd why I got you too. What people be up to sometimes. Yeah. That's why I got you too. All right. Well, hey, everybody, thanks for listening. Remember to subscribe, rate, and view on whatever favorite podcast platform you listen to. Go to thesfunner.com for more podcasts and online content. Grab some merch for, uh, from the Funner family while you're there. And uh, check us out on YouTube, Sports Fix with Sticks and Announce Big Homie. Homie's out there doing uh, some cut-up clips in his free time that he's got. Uh, so, and he's and follow us on Twitter if Twitter's still a thing. I don't even know if it still is anymore. Hey, I ain't getting charged yet. At stick015, that's me, and at homie underscore anonymous. Uh, yeah, Barcott and I were kind of getting into the Twitter thing a second ago. We were, we were waiting for your uh, PUP hobbly ass to get upstairs or whatever. It takes a minute. Yeah, it does nowadays, huh? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that was, I guess, uh, you know, I guess if Twitter doesn't work, there's a thing called Mastodon. I don't know if you've, I did Google that. I did look that up. So, hey, you know, I'm not as dumb as I look sometimes. All right. So, here's the thing. As with all of these things, so at our age, right, do we go where to, where it is popping at to try to get it popping like we're 20 again, or do we just say, eh, it's all good? It, 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 we're kind of in that spot. Do we really need to be, I mean, in, in order to be charged, because what am I really getting? Because it's basically a all-encompassing newspaper that includes a huge overwhelming opinion section <laughs> you know what I mean? like a intolerable insufferable opinion section so how does this like how, what is the blue section. check mark even gonna do does it change up the the way your algorithm goes out when now everybody has it if it's still done by like followers or whatever it's not nah. gonna even matter no it's all about monetizing twitter just needs to make some bread that's all it is so what they need they're just cooking up a scheme because if i decide to be a b you know, Pasco's finest, blah, blah, blah. And he wants to be that. I go and pay and put the check on it, or he goes and put the check down on it. So everybody knows that's affiliated with mm -hmm. him. So his message is clear. So basically they're, you know, making sure the source is right. And you have to, they're trying to monetize that, which is the only thing you could really do with Twitter. And Other than that, it seems like a waste of money. There's nothing wrong with Twitter setting that as a rule. I mean, I get that. You're, you're, you're basically, as a company, making money so other people understand where they're actually getting their information. And that makes sense. Yeah. You want to you you pay up for, for the sticks uh, label? You want to cash out for it to make sure nobody else gets it or what? Not yet. I don't know that J-O-B yet. <laughs> I mean, Maybe yo, once if, I get that job, I'll have to do it. I mean, if I could get the first choice and just to take it off the market, I might. If I just do anonymous big homie, make it super easy. I mm -hmm. might just take it off the market if I could have it. But it's not even mine at this at this second. So literally two cups of coffee at Starbucks a day. I know you're it. paying that for a month. Yeah, you know what I'm saying eight dollars a month. 
what it's other stuff that we're paying for that we forget about anyway Netflix exactly and everybody else so yeah there, there's there's times i've had streaming apps that i've logged into for the first time in like two months and like oh you've got to do a seven-day trial oh shit i haven't paid for this in a while <laughs> wow you know it's just i i forgot about it didn't use it oh okay yeah i don't know i don't know about all that you know that's eight dollars that's a a good can of the tg though that's what, that's like, what that's i can do that's what the, that's what the commodity price is nowadays wow yeah. price is going that. up bro it's, it's price is going up can of chew can of chew is about yeah. that much, so you're about the same that's what we're down to measuring things and units of now i miss wow. i miss smoking willies whatever the hell <laughs> that place is called smoking willies on the reservation baby all right homie get us into some stuff here before we get going what do you think or when we get so we can get going all right, man. Well, sure. I figure we should do it like this. Of course, the crowbar is coming. Believe that the crowbar is coming. The Kraken has to get uh, get talked about, even though I've been kind of sleeping a little bit. But what we're going to do this time is I think that in order to jump off, because, um, you know, we're going to get into NFL and, and all of that. That's what's been going on. Forget the NBA. The NBA is washed right now. But this is a big major thing. Did they not realize taking a world event to the Middle East, that's like having the Olympics. You're driving, having people fly all over the world for the World Cup, okay? And you gonna have it in Qatar right now. Come on, dog, and they having all kind of problems. I want y'all to tell me, and I wanna hear about y'all opinion on this situation because imagine you guys showing up, adult grown men working hard, saving for flights, airlines, accommodations, knowing that I am going to be a soccer hooligan this week. Ooh, I'm going in to watch my favorite country, whoever the hell that is, because this country is to drink way harder than we do. Absolutely no drinking, G. What the okay. heck? What the, first of all, when you're Budweiser and you're, you, you, you find out two days before, where's all, the, where's all the liquor, where's all these beers going that are already sitting over there, bro? Did, you, know yeah, how many, right. you, know, you, you know that shit's already there. So what are it they is. just allocating that to the, to, the, to the people of Qatar or whatever? Like, that's what, that's what baffles me. It's against bit. their religion, bro. They don't even want it there. Well, how many, how many uh, freaking airline, aircraft carriers or whatever, airplanes, took over massive amount of booze over there? And where's it at? It's just going to the local bars because they do. You can drink. You just can't drink at the games. I mean, but, where's the pre-funk to all of this? I mean, where is the where is your usual tailgate? fandom tailgate? Where is that happening? Where is your uh, after parties? Because this is a world event. You're going to have your Norwegians who love to get down and party. You're going to have the Deutschland is going to be in full effect. The Nederland, who probably got a sack of weed smuggled in their baggage, you got to check them if you're checking Brittany Grant. You got to check Nederlands, you know what I mean? You got to check them out. Um, and there's people coming all over the world. And what? And the biggest thing is, like I said, people are, it's the, the English people are telling us, Ted Lasso, that a pint of beer goes along with this sport so we can yell consecutively for 90 minutes. And they just did not realize I just I think that this is the worst planning of a sporting event uh, since the uh, the COVID and uh, and the Olympics because this is bad. You taking their whole belief system and you're imposing on their home court. Yeah, and they're not and they're saying it's not uh, we're not doing that. And when you bring up the pint of beer thing, that's that's soccer is huge. We know Europe owns soccer. And being able to drink and have a good time. And soccer cheer. in Europe is exactly like the NFL in America. Free funk, drunk, have a good time, got your towels going, whatever. And all those English fans, Germany fans, you know, Denmark fans, France coming down. Tunisia fans. You're 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 really screwing up what they came down there for, and and you know who's going to pay for it is in America. And I realize it's four years from now, but they're going to use it to like double the price of beer in the American stadiums and all that stuff because they're going to cry. We got to make up for it, even though they've had four years of drinking worldwide to do it. 
you know it's real funny though you know how they talk about supply chain and it's all kind of issues and we got issues getting stuff from point a to point b they got that right. beer they got that beer over there fast. oh they did 100%. they made sure that beer was over there but they oh, did yeah. not plan for come on are you trying to tell me that you did no research which of course now there's a whole bunch of people in the background you have the uh the soccer head guy who's like the commissioner this guy is that uh, Seth Blatter Seth Blatter sounds yeah. like a, a a a disease I had freshman year in college uh, <laughs> uh, from drinking too much uh but he's out here though and he's got and he's out here giving the prince of and you know these is princes out here right this is the kind of money that you're because these countries are ran by families. They, you know what I mean? You know how they, that thing goes. It's like unlike the crown in some ways. So they're giving money to these people so they could promote this thing. And all they're doing is promoting, and you know what they want to do, promote a way of life. We're going to check everybody that walks through the door. Americans, everybody, wherever you are from, check your stuff at the door. That don't fly here if you're going to get down. Uh, and watch the soccer event. Everybody gonna sit there and do golf clap because that's what we want. What's going on? The food, the football, the football uh, Americano or a football European. So isn't there a, a documentary on the little uh, fall of the guy who was in charge before this World Cup thing went down into this new, this is, this the, new, this new is the guy, so to speak, right? This is the guy. He, oh, I think he awarded uh, Qatar, Qatar, however we choose to say it in America or what have you. But he awarded them this event, and then he got. This is the reason why he's being investigated heavily. Mm. I just saw something today that it, it was like fucking. What was it? Five hundred and fifty billion dollars or some crazy ass number to, to even uh, build all these stadiums and all the, everything that went on there. And it was like by far the most expensive world cup that they've had to do and wait till you see, I haven't seen, I only saw a little glimpse of a clip earlier of like their accommodations for the players. It's right. almost like a, a fry festival or even uh, what was it? The 2020, um, uh, Olympics or whatever, where they were like in these little cots and couldn't even fit in their with the, bed. With the, so, the cardboard joints, yeah, the cardboard cutout kind of beds. Going on. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. Let alone where all the booze goes. Where's all, where's all that beer at? Um, are they going to be handing out, uh, you know, free um, alcohol to in the tailgates or what, because you know, there's plenty over there and, and, and Budweiser paid for all that. So it's, you know, it's not just going to sit there going somewhere. Uh, uh, hey, look, I bet you, if you get a rental car and you flew all the way over there, you get a rental car, you drive around the city, you looking at sites, you're looking left or right, looking who's in traffic. I bet you ain't going to see no damn woman driving a car. You think they over there playing? This is serious business, so I it, I can't wait for this to start. I would not have been on this because I just told my daughter the other day. I said, she said, "Are you gonna watch that?" Because you know, think because they know I watch everything. And I go, "Yeah, I might check it out a little bit." Oh, now I'm gonna be tuned in because this is right up my alley. You know how I get down. Well, yeah, the first uh, gonna uh, it's a Sunday, I think Sunday morning is the first kickoff. Yeah, so <laughs> ready to rock and roll and get going. Um, Real quick, I don't know what else you have on. Uh, no, go ahead. Huh? Dig in. Dig in. Um, I have a list of all the groups here, and I didn't get a time to go through all of them. I'll wait until the next round before we start picking our, our team. That's right. But uh, uh, your boy, Lionel Messi, last dance, 91 goals in his Argentina career, never won a World Cup, though. He ain't winning one again. And their rank, their FIFA rank is number three in Argentina. Man, I got a wild card, and I'm telling you right now. But I'm oh. almost, I should, I'm gonna save it though for the big World Cup sticks and sports blowout sports fix. You don't want to give it. Soccer. You don't want to give the long shot right away. <laughs> All right, look, 
I have to tell shot. the people so because you know, right. if we talk about it, it'll all be full of effects. Right. So let's get let's give them what got, they want to hear. All right. I'm gonna weave a tapestry for a second. You gotta follow me for a second. This oh, is all story based, right? So I'm digging up a story. All right. World Cup winner 2022 England. Why the show Ted Lasso? Hook it. <laughs> Put it on the map. Remember, that I wild, said it. elaborated story. And that's all you have for this because it's no, based no, no. off Ted Lasso. Go I figure. Have, and the, guess what? And there's still other things. We're not talking about a dummy team that I just picked out of a hat, right? So Ted Lasso just tells me, okay, I just saw this show. It's one of those signs, like when you see a penny face up or whatever, right? But England had a good run and had a couple good runs last time. Everybody was on them. They lost a tough one. This last go round, I think they lost it one zero or damn it, it's one to zero. I ain't one with this Neil business. No, nah. one mil. No, nah, Neil don't live. Right, I don't even know Neil like that. Let me see where Neil. Let me run up on Neil. See what happens. Uh, well, England's got a five FIFA ranking. See what I'm um, saying? I don't know. I'm I just had to hit you with the I, last I'm go. You know, hey, I don't know what kind of odds you can get on uh viva la mexico you never know they might be able to bounce back here you know 17 appearances 13th fifa ranking fifa ranking i mean yeah united Man, states put them all out. We're, we're spain at. we're espana we're espana i mean they gotta be dope uh, right the, 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 the they got six, barcelona they got all the whole 16 seven is seven it, fifa ranking talking about all this isn't brazil the favorite Brazil's got to be dope. Yeah. Come on, see. they're the number one favorite. They're I don't even know who the, the new main favorite. guy is for Brazil, but I got to find out. He's probably some one named cat who we will find out what his name is very shortly. I'm sure. Pablito, shout out to Chicharito. A hundred billion dollars in the next ten years in European soccer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, all right. Well, that was a nice little. Uh, opening to the world cup 2022 you know we were talking about it months ago and now it's here all of a sudden just pops up in our face um had to do a little quick research and try to figure it out shout out to shout uh, out to india shout out to india hey wait yeah well yeah where, where are people's at oh, people they where you at? oh well, see they well, we'll get them next year we we'll get them next year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Team USA, I think, has got the best odds they've had not to win. Right. But uh, to to advance, I think, since 08. They're, they're projecting this to be the best team since 08. Hey, yeah, well, they, they got they're finally not garbage. Since 08, probably. So, shout out to the Amer- uh, the football. Uh, what else you got going on, homie? Man, nothing, man. But like I said, here comes the crowbar. Look. We, we're international, shout out to India, but we got to keep it real and bring it home to the uh, to the to our side. And the tentacle is moving. Guess what we just found out? We got to under team, y'all. The Kraken is playing defense. You've been doing your research. also means so we, they are in. not scoring. <laughs> they're not scoring goal, right? But they're they, still winning, though. They're, they're, they're Finally. They are winning. Finally That's what I'm some. saying. Finally got some defense and finally got some goaltending after the first freaking what they've been on uh, the last seven games. Finally got some good, uh, good goaltending going on. So and, and peep and look at this tale of the two seasons last year. Die hard over team. You could book it. You could throw money blind at it and they were going to hit nonstop consecutively this year. Team cohesion. Like I told you, now they're tight. Now they tight. Now they're playing defense. Now they're playing to win, which is, you know what I'm saying, is materializing in the record. Look at the boys out here in third place you know and climbing. But if you want to make some money, it's getting harder to pick, to figure out where the cracking are going if you're doing that kind of thing. Because I just like looking because uh, just knowing the fact that they are, uh, if I'm not mistaken, to the under eight and one, eight and one or 10 and something or something wild in the last in the last uh the the, 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 the last 10 you said the eight and two so it looks like i think they're like 10 and 17 on the under for the year and nine and 17 on the under one p I, it might even be 
it might even be 11 and 17 on the under 1P, but right. Uh, you like yeah, you to said, the, it's definitely the game under team because the remember it was only the first week where they were hitting those overs because I was at over one and a half first period. It was like the first week they were like six and two or something after the first like eight games, and then yeah, it, I, and then it hit different after that. So and I looked because I wanted to see if they're really playing defense, and yeah, you know, and I pulled it up, and they're actually I mean they're middle of the pack in. And goals allowed, goals goals against the game. I'm telling you, so they're really playing defense out here with these big boys. So I'm not even mad at them, man. Shout out to them, man. Hey, I forgot to sh- I forgot to show off my USA T-shirt when I was. Uh, we were talking a little World Cup, dang. The boys, ready out here. Let's go. I got a USA hat somewhere in the million boxes I got around this place. Uh, speaking of gambling news and talking about over and unders and uh, all that. How about uh, your boy Yasiel Puig? What the hell is going on with him? <laughs> hey, him and Kimmy, uh, they okay. It was him. Trying to do the Pete Calvin Rose? Ridley. It was uh, Pete Rose walking to a bar. That's what happened. Calvin Ridley, Pete Rose, and uh, Yasiel <laughs> Puig all hanging out in the same spot, uh, chopping it up the, uh, about sports betting. Uh, that was in 2019. Was his last year over here? I think it was that he was yeah. doing some underground betting. Well, see, here's the thing, though. If if you play, if you are a bookie that much, okay, right? The news should the news gets out, you know, because they're saying like Pete Rose or some of these other guys, where we have to sue this dude to get our money back. Pete Mickelson comes to mind when I think of that, right? You say Pete Mickelson, Phil. <laughs> Him too. I'm glad Pete Rose is on that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that it, it comes around when I think of that. But at the same time, there is oh I lost my damn train of thought at the same time. What I was talking about. Um Bill Mickelson but, coming to fruition telling him he needs to pay up. Well, but yeah, there we go. Here, I'm sorry. Fast forward. He owed the money to a former teammate when he was down. When he when he when he was in between going from the league to the show, this is a teammate who is taking bets from him. A former, not pay yeah, your like a former minor league player or some shit. How you not pay your teammate? With? Yeah, this is like you. This is like some people I know who be out here reneging on fantasy football. <laughs> Quiet on the set. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. Not in this league, not in our league, not in this. Oh, took me a bit this is fun the league. Back around. <laughs> Maybe a different league. There might be a couple things going on. Everybody's out All right. getting there. Since, well, since I got y'all in, I'm gonna let y'all breathe real quick. You got y'all got five minutes, man, to wrap up the award situation for oh. Major League Baseball, man, and how y'all feel about what happened. Yeah, I mean, y'all got I a lot say. of you know, a lot of gusto invested into a couple of these winners. I was a little surprised, not blown away, not blown away, because Paul Goldschmidt is a stud. Either. But I was a little surprised because you're talking about a guy who, I don't remember the last time we had an MVP that didn't lead the league in anything. Yeah, he really did. You know, and now that does not take away because he was ultra important in St. Louis. But I, when you look at where he ranked offensively, it was – sixth fifth third fourth fifth he so he's that quintessential guy that i did a little bit of everything but i did not dominate anything judge didn't surprise me uh i wasn't even shocked that it i i knew he would not be unanimous was not shocked that it was 28 to 2 uh only because as good as otani is it's tough to be MVP when your team is 40 games below 500 and 35 games out of the playoffs. Cause that the, the argument is simple. How much worse were they going to be without you? You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. obviously they'd be worse. But so the playing from the playing is, both sides don't counteract that. No, because you're still, I, I agree with what you're saying. I and now it saying. doesn't, and I'm glad that, I mean, I don't know. Because they gave it to him last year because of the fact when the Angels were still shitty last year, right? I, I, that could, I, and I, so I want to I get back on Big Homie's point. I agree with what you're saying. 
he led the team in home runs and RBIs. He had great, he was way up there in wins and especially ERA. But it's tough to call you a most valuable player when you do all those great things and you're 40 games below 500 and some other dude hit 60 home runs with 300 batting average and went to the playoffs. So that that's, I, I, I told Jason, I think the reason he won it last year and not this year is because the only other guy he was facing last year, his team didn't go to the playoffs either. So when your two best players aren't going to postseason, well, then the, the games under 500 doesn't matter. But now that you're going against the guy whose team won their division, uh, the game that's under, right even though even though you're not the reason they're under 500 that record still counts you know so well i think the i mean i think I, i'm glad that judge got it over otani because we didn't want to see that again going in because just like we talked about last year if you're going to give it to him you're going to give it to him every year i think they finally realized that it's not going to be and i think aaron's point was great too that it was, you know, how your team actually did throughout the year. Are they really going to be any better if he wasn't? I mean, if it, it, are they going to be any worse if he wasn't there? Probably not or whatever. Um, so we'll see. But, you know, I think that we talked about last week, homie, we talked about the Cy Young with Verlander and Alcantara, Alcantara from the Miami Marlins, uh, pretty much hands down on those two. And then a big shout out to uh, the National League Rookie of the Year. Oh. Oh, uh, we got to give Aaron was giving me shit earlier. So I have to uh, shout out Michael Harris, even though he did play in uh, what, like 16 less games than than J-Rod did and didn't and had uh, less RBIs, less stolen bases, less home runs. Um, but, you know, you got to give a shout out to the Look, kid in Atlanta. What's going on here? Too. First off, not by a lot. Dude was only six home runs less and like five stolen bases less. So it wasn't like he was way behind. Right now, and I'm not knocking Julio. Julio is a star, but when we say he had fewer numbers, let's not give the well. I just making sure we put that out there. Had like just making sure he had fewer home runs, <laughs> and twenty fewer stolen bases. He played fewer games and was five or six away in each of those categories. Well, shout out, you know, and shout out to the AL Rookie of the Year. Speaking of J. Rod, you know. Oh! The what do Mariners. you know about that? There See, we look, go, Mariners. Let him, you let him get away with that. Oh, uh, uh, you see how fake there. that was. You threw all the flowers he threw on this kid. He don't even care about. I'm going. I'm listening <laughs> to this. Going. Oh, I can't wait to believe. I can't wait <laughs> to hear this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this paves the way for this Julio <laughs> conversation. Did you, Damn it! Did you, did you get the email with the write up? Because we <laughs> only had Julio. Yeah, in the so I had to give him a little he shout out. He didn't even have the National League Rookie of the Year in the write up. I had to talk him into it. So, yeah, yeah, you're right. He threw a bunch of flowers. He wasn't even going to name the kid. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Was gonna be like all the J-Rod show. All the J-Rod show, baby. Go, Mariners. And one rookie of the year. That's right. You got guilted into giving this boy a small amount of credit for winning a huge accomplishment. It's Julio Rodriguez, baby. <laughs> hey, we're going to take a little break. We'll be back for the second oh. half. Subscribe, rate, review on whatever podcast platform you listen to. We appreciate y'all. And uh, thanks for listening. We'll be back soon. That was Sports Fix with Sticks. Thank you for listening. And don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the show. If you want to join the show, use the hashtag Sticks and Sports. Winners don't make excuses.